I found this call, applied to the RFQ, gave my qualifications, and were, was picked as a semi-finalist of four sculptors. We then uh, came to Nashville and got to visit the site and learn about the building and the community center, where the possibilities of the sculptures were going, got to be introduced to the, the community, the area around this park. Um, we got to study the history of the area. Um, that led me to my proposal to Nashville, which was inspired by the biplane of the 1920s um, from McConnell Airfield. And this was the first airfield here. Went through a process of building a model, uh, bringing it to Nashville, and giving my proposal. We also, um, once once I was picked, we went through another process of of engineering and developing uh, strategies to actually build the piece in my studio in Atlanta. Um, from then, it was just a lot of hard, hot work. The form is a piece that symbolizes the biplane of McConnell Airfield. The shape of its base rises up out of the ground and creates sort of a lifting point for the, the wing to be suspended in the air and actually move. It was also important to me to, to connect to the history of the railroad. And the processes that I used were used in the railroad to build everything from the trains to the tools that worked on the trains to the cars. So all those processes really connected to the history of the railroad here and also to McConnell Airfield. And I've had a million questions about how you say this. It's aileron. Um, is the term uh, that refers to the fixed wing of a biplane that controls banking. Um, and this word harkens from McCabe's roots as one of Nashville's first airfields. Um, years and years ago, this was a stopping point for biplanes in the, in the very first initiations of flight here in Nashville. Um, the wings move naturally in the air and the forged bronze pattern um, of rivets evokes airplane construction. Michael's traditional blacksmith joinery techniques are similar to those um, used also in the manufacturing of railroad equipment, which was also something historically done in this neighborhood and pays homage to um, the neighborhood specifically. <laughs> 